Hi guys, this is Quinn again from Micrographics, my application engineer. Just giving you another quick tip about Plant 3D. So I came across a interesting question the other day, which was about how do I add our insulation into Plant 3D's pipes and objects. So if you actually take a look over here on the right hand side, you can actually see the insulation. Now some little bit of a hidden thing that was actually improved upon in the 2021 release was the insulation. Not a lot of people know about that, but as you can see, what used to happen basically with the installation is the pipe's diameter would just be um, basically increased and that would then symbolize the insulation with it, but though it wasn't really giving a good view as to what the actual insulation was and what the pipe was. So in here now you can see that the pipe inside there is yellow and the insulation is kind of a greener shade uh, that's transparent around it. Now how do you actually set this? It's actually pretty fast and easy. All you have to do is select the pipe that you require, right click, and I'm just going to say select my connected line number and go into my properties palette. If you need to open your properties palette, remember you can right click and go properties. It will open this up. Just make sure you've got the correct line number. So I've got everything defined on that line number and this line number for me is 5110. And a lot of people look over here and say, oh, insulation thickness, there it is. But if you can see that this is being driven elsewhere, if you click there, it's in an acquire mode from Again, mine's not showing the rest, but it actually says from um, uh, basically the plant 3D insulation, uh, but well, it's the group that basically gets assigned with. But now all you have to do to get this is just scroll down a little bit because it's not here in the general. It's actually down here in the process line. In here, you can go use drop down and then select by default these 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 mil thickness. So I'm going to say, okay. Uh, let's say I want to make this a 25 millimeter. So I'm going to select it. Then, as you can see, if I hit escape to go off it, we have now assigned our insulation. Now, interesting thing to note is that when we're in the author, that was if we're in the orthographic side and we go into the one of the orthographic drawings, that unless we update our view it's not going to show so what we have to do is select well you could select the insulation tool and select it off but let me tell it to update this view update the view there we go and now you can see there's your insulation now this is the reason why you're only seeing the one here is because it wasn't generated with this insulation so what you could do is you can actually edit this view. So I'm going to go edit view, select the view, and then in the actual generation, make sure, because by default it's normally set to no insulation over here, make sure that it is set to either solid line insulation or hidden line insulation. In this case, hidden line, you'll see when it populates, you can see the hidden line there. If that sign color is not very visible to you, you can always go into your uh, layer properties and then actually force it or change it to another, your insulation color to something else. In this case, it's top view, by the way. So I'm going to change this one to, let's say, um, magenta and go OK. And you notice my insulation color changes. Thanks, guys. I really hope this was helpful. Have a good one. Jose, bye.